Now you might have seen the title of this video and thought, ASV has reimagined the compact track loader. Reimagined, really? And granted, the four new compact track loaders that ASV unveiled this week don't necessarily look radically different from the machines that came before them, or other CTLs on the market for that matter, but they are drastically improved in a lot of ways, and they feature some pretty smart and innovative updates. Now, most of the improvements that you're gonna find on the new RT65, VT70 high output, RT75, and RT75 heavy duty have nothing to do with performance. ASV says it's very confident in the existing machine performance it had on the older model, so engines, horsepower ratings, hydraulics, all of that stuff is pretty much the same as it was before. Instead, with these new machines, ASV chose to focus its efforts on elevating the very idea of the compact track loader itself. They asked, how can we improve upon the design of this machine type? How do we make it more comfortable? How do we make it easier to see out of? How do we make it easier to get out of and get into? In essence, ASV wondered, how do we make a CTL, a machine that operators will love being inside of no matter what they're doing? And how do we take all of these things, all of these improvements to their maximum potential? Now, what the ASV engineers found out is that doing these things, making a CTL that is operator centric, involves second guessing a lot of design concepts that have become reflexive when designing a CTL. And ASV thinks that the result is pretty special, which is why they're calling these latest models the Max series. Now, if you're still wondering what specifically makes these new machines so Max, well, that's what we're gonna talk about. Let's get into it. Now, one thing to state before we get into the details of these specific machines is that while ASV is calling these machines the Max series, as of right now, this launch does not represent a full refresh of the entire CTL lineup at ASV. Instead, the four MAX models, the RT65, VT70 high output, RT75, and RT75 heavy duty, have been nestled right in the middle, right in that size class sweet spot of the ASV CTL lineup. So the smaller RT25, RT40, and RT50, they're still available, as are the larger RT120 and RT124 stream models that make up the rest of ASV's lineup. They just haven't gotten this new Max treatment yet. ASV's product line manager, Buck Storley, though, says that these new Max models are aimed at the heart of the CTL market, and the company was really focused on delivering these specific improvements and upgrades to machines that represent the highest sales volume slice of the CTL segment. And as for whether or not the rest of the ASV lineup will go max, we'll have to see. Now, all four of these new Max series machines fall solidly in that mid-size CTL market, and all of them fall under 75 horsepower engine ratings, and thus avoid the need for emissions after treatment on these tier four final engines that power them. All right, so since we're on the topic of engines, let's go ahead and get into the main specs of these four new machines, and we'll start with that RT65. Now, this is a 7,480 pound CTL powered by a 67 horsepower, three cylinder turbocharged Deutz engine. It has a radial loader pattern with a rated operating capacity of 1,925 pounds at 35% of tipping load. Next up is the VT70 high output, V standing for this machine's vertical lift pattern, which is sometimes preferred by those doing a lot of loading work at height. Now this is an 8,035 pound machine with the same Deutz engine that you'll find in that RT65 that we just talked about, but with a slightly higher horsepower rating of 74 horsepower and a little bit more torque at 207 pound-feet compared to the 184.4 pound-feet that you find on the RT65. Now, rated operating capacity on this high output vertical lift model is 2,328 pounds at 35% of tipping load. And that brings us to the RT75 Max models. These machines kind of skirt the line a bit between the mid and large size frame classes, and they are radial lift CTLs powered by a 74 horsepower four-cylinder turbocharged Cummins engine with 221 pound-feet of torque. Operating capacity on the RT75 and the RT75 Heavy Duty is actually one area where we can talk about performance improvements with these new Max models. The RT75's 2,750 pounds at 35% of tipping and the RT75 Heavy Duty's 2,850 pounds at 35% of tipping are up around 200 pounds in ROC 
from the previous generation machines. Now, operating weight varies slightly between these two machines. The RT75 weighs in at 9,060 pounds, while the HD model weighs in at 9,210 pounds. Now, for those who are uninitiated on the RT75 heavy duty, let's focus on this HD model for just a second. ASV aims this model toward customers who do a lot of brush cutting, as this machine features heavy duty guarding, over the side screens, and a half inch thick polycarbonate door, all of which is there to protect the operator from objects that may be slung during work. Now this model also features a reversing fan, self-leveling, ride control, and an air ride seat, and other premium options as standard, which are nice touches in a machine that you're gonna be taking into some pretty extreme conditions. Now kind of zooming back out to the Max Series lineup as a whole, standard hydraulics on these new models provide around 22 gallons per minute of flow on all four of the machines. But high flow hydraulics are an available option and high flow enables up to 27.4 gallons per minute of flow on the RT65, up to 27.9 gallons per minute on the VT70, and up to 35.7 gallons per minute on the RT75 and RT75 Heavy Duty. And like their predecessors, all four new Max models ride atop ASV's excellent PosiTrack undercarriage system. Now on both the RT65 and VT70, you're gonna get 15 inch wide tracks with 59 inches of track on the ground. The RT75 and RT75 HD up the track width to 18 inches while placing 71 inches of track on the ground. Okay, so with all those preliminary specs out of the way, let's talk about the max improvements to the Max series machines. And the best way to kind of characterize these updates is that you'll probably need to sit inside of these new machines to really fully appreciate the step forward that ASV has taken with these machines. And that's really because so many of these updates are focused on operator comfort. Now, first up, ASV is introducing a new structure design on these machines that brings along some huge improvements to visibility. On the sides of the new machines, ASV has implemented new all glass side panels that give you 68% more visible area than what you had on the previous models. These new panels reach further down the sides of the machine, giving you more visibility to the tracks and the ability to see the ground closer to the machine as well as being able to see the bucket edge closer to objects. Now, there's also a new frameless curved glass door on these machines that brings a 32% increase to the visible area there in front of you. Here's ASV product line manager Buck Storley talking about the design process of adding all of this extra visibility to these machines. And all of a sudden you see the uh, vast difference and vast improvement it is over really anything on the market today. But, you know, we started with, uh, uh, you know, getting rid of additional metal along the sides and then thinking about even the glasswork. How do you reduce framework around it? Now, Storley adds that ASV also paid a great deal of attention to the shape and placement of objects in the cab, like switches and control panels, and how those objects can actually interfere with visibility, and they tried to fix some of that. Simple improvements like uh, the side pillars, when you sit in the machine and you look forward and you see where the switches and things are on the side pillars in the past designs has always just been kind of big boxes. Um, now you'll see they're formed and actually tilted towards the operator slightly to go with his line of sight. So anytime there's an object in the way, it's shaped in a way that it takes uh, the minimal amount of maybe a head lean or a turn to see around that object. So trying to shrink every corner and every object and go into molded parts and things instead of uh, big welded boxes and squares can really, it's all those uh, little details that add up to quite a bit. So now when you sit in it, you've got that 360 degree visibility. Another structural design change with these loaders is a larger roof opening that gives you increased overhead visibility. And then even more importantly, there's a new three panel rear window that gives you 31% more visibility to the environment behind you. Now, this change is the result of ASV taking the pillars at the back of the cab and actually moving those pillars forward, taking what was a single kind of visibility plane between those two rear pillars and now wrapping it around the corners of the cab to form a three panel window. And the big improvement here with this three panel window is that Buck says this actually goes a long way in eliminating those blind spots in the rear corners of the machine that operators often encounter. The three panel plane takes that blind spot 
and moves it closer to your actual pivot point. So when you're in a track loader and you're pivoting on your center axis, uh, the closer you can have that blind, blind spot to that center axis, the less it actually is harmful to you. So now you can actually turn your head and your blind spot is not where your machine is actually moving. You know, it's, it's ahead of you, so it's not bothering you any further. Now, since we're talking about adding more glass to these machines, safety is something that's bound to come up. And when I asked Buck about this, he told me that the new cab design is just as safe, just as hardy and durable as the previous generation, despite the added glass. And actually, you can spec all four of these new Max Series machines out to offer level two FOPS protection, something that previously was only available on ASV's RT124 Street model. Another really interesting safety detail with these machines is that the same heavy duty guarding that you'll find on the RT75 heavy duty is also available across the other three machines in this Max Series lineup. So you can actually spec out any of these new Max Series machines with that heavy duty guarding. Now, since we're talking about safety, ASV has made a major change to the roof of this machine that provides a new emergency exit in an industry first roof hatch for CTLs. Now, in the event of an emergency, rather than exiting through the rear window and over the engine compartment, this roof hatch actually allows you to flip a couple of small red latches in the roof, push that roof panel up, and then exit through the roof of the machine. Now, Buck tells us that this method of emergency exiting is faster and easier than going through the rear window. Plus it's safer since it keeps operators from having to crawl over a hot engine compartment. Then again, it's technology that's been used in the past in some forestry industries, things like that, but just not really uh, taken on in the construction industry. And you know, we looked at it, its use in some other places and said, hey, that, that's a, a better way to do it. Now, one last structural change made to this machine that's worth noting is that ASV has lowered the step-in height of the door. The door opening now drops lower than any previous design that the company has put out, and it makes getting into these machines much easier. And speaking of the door, if you want to remove this door completely, you can. ASV has made unplugging the door on these Max Series machines and lifting it off its hinges quick and easy, and it allows operators who want to work without a door to do just that without having to bypass a safety switch. Given the major changes made to the structure of this machine in the aim of increasing visibility, changes to the cab itself, the interior, were a must. And ASV says the new cab design found on these Max Series machines is the most comfortable cab that you will find on the CTL market. Um, and then we focused on around the operator, the area you really sit in. I mean, that's the area that matters. All this kind of airspace around you um, doesn't have a lot of impact. But when you sit down, um, you know, how much space you actually have in the area you're sitting, that is where a lot of our focus came. And while increased visibility and decreased blind spots were already a really good start to increasing operator comfort, ASV has also increased the size of the cab. Overall, the interior space is two inches wider than it was before. And that increase in structure width, along with a redesign and kind of shuffling of all the components inside the cab has enabled a major increase in roominess inside these machines. Now, for starters, you're gonna get 4.5 more inches of legroom on these new machines than you had on the old one. And that is enough for even taller operators to straighten out their legs. And while additional shoulder room comes thanks to the like overall widening of the cab structure that we just mentioned a bit ago, the new cab also gives you a massive eight inches of extra width at your knees. And that's thanks to a repositioning of controls and switches that have traditionally been placed near the armrests or by the controls. ASV has moved all of those controls and switches up to the front pillars that flank the door. They're all right in front of you. The main reason there is to get them in the operator's uh, peripheral vision. So when you're running, you don't have to look away from there to go ahead and make adjustments to your control or flip a switch, those type of things. So getting them there, get them in the peripheral vision so you have easy access to them. They're also a straight reach from your control. So you don't have to you know, stop operating and hunt. You can reach up, flip the switch on or off and, uh, and continue working. Complementing those reposition switches on the left side of the cab, kind of near the roof line is a new seven inch touchscreen display that houses machine operation gauges, maintenance alerts, and the view from the standard rear view camera on these machines. Now here's Buck again, detailing the key features of this display. Lots of stuff implemented there with that new seven inch touchscreen. Um, you know, first just uh, 
better gauge visibility than we've ever had in the past. So a six gauge home screen. So you've got all the kind of the big gauges and main things there. Hour meter, trip meter. And then we've also added a new feature, uh, operator job clock. So that's kind of cool. When they turn a job clock on, um, you know, you can associate that to a job and anytime the engine's running, the job clock will be uh, taking hours and keeping track of that amount that's used. It's also monitoring the fuel consumption of the machine to that job, um, idle time, things like that. Job clock's really cool new feature for, you know, when you're ready to build a job or you want to monitor a job, you can really see what you have into it and what, uh, you know, what that machine did there on that job. We've added uh, key code entry or access to the machine. So operator and owner can, can give an operator a code to access the machine, start the machine, run the machine. Anti-theft improvements there. Service monitoring, it's got full maintenance monitoring in it, looking at uh, the machine uh, service intervals, 500 hours, 250 hours, 1,000 hours as an example. And when we hit these service intervals, the display has got the capability to pop up a wrench on the screen and let the operator know something is due. The operator simply touches the screen at the wrench and it pops them in and actually tells them exactly what needs to be done. Now with all those switches and controls we talked about earlier being moved out of the way, not only do you get more room for flopping your butt, thighs, and knees down into this seat, into this cab, it also gave ASV room to give their joystick controls and the armrests much more adjustability. Specifically, these controls and armrests now feature four-way adjustability. Um, you know, we see uh, competition bringing forward four adjustments, slider controls is becoming common in the CTL industry, but you know, we wanted to go a little further. Can we do better than that? You know, you mentioned the automotive world with our six way power seats and those things. It's that type of technology that spurs, um, you know, what can we do more? Where does the operator need these things to be? And with our four way, you get not only that four aft adjustment, but you also can do height adjustment. You can do angle adjustment and you can do width adjustments. So, um, you know, we all have a little different preference on how we like to sit. And that's uh, really what we're trying to achieve there with, with all those different adjustments. So all those operators can find the right spot. Another comfort feature that serves a dual purpose here is a new single side lap bar. Not only does this make for easier entry and exit into the cab of these machines, since you don't have to duck under the bar, it also provides another increase in roominess at the operator's hips. The new side lap bar also allowed for ASV to provide more surface area on the armrests themselves, another nice touch. Furthering the focus on comfort, ASV has also implemented a new seven vent HVAC system that does a much better job at distributing air more evenly throughout the cab, making sure that one of your body zones, be it your chest, your head, your legs, isn't sweating while the other freezes. One more interior detail, ASV says that the Max Series machines boast best in class cab pressurization for a quieter, cleaner working environment. This cab, you know, is sealed uh, better than anything we've done in the past, and it's got a good outside air intake. So in total, you know, getting 50 pascals or greater pressurization, um, really five times what we tested for our competitors. So uh, anywhere from five times or more. So when I say industry leading, um, by a large margin, we're feeling confident about where it's at as we compared it to, you know, competitors. And then we did further testing with outside sources. And, you know, as I mentioned earlier, got the same feedback from, uh, from outside sources that tested us as in the best compact cab we've tested. And moving on to the maintenance side, all four ASV Max Series machines feature a three panel rear hood, a design that allows the hood to lift up as well as the sides to go out. Plus there are swing out and lean out rear radiators and oil coolers. Altogether, you've got that four direction access to the engine. It really gives you good access there in the rear. Um, that's a big focus that is definitely best in class. Many compact track loaders, if you look at them, they just have a single swinging rear door. Our four panel rear really opens things up and you can see that engine and access things there. ASV has also revised the hose routing and clamping on these machines, aiming to maximize their durability. There are also new wire harnesses with sealed fuse panels that will make the machines even less susceptible to excessive weather conditions like rain, snow, mud, cold, or heat. Another major improvement in terms of serviceability with these machines is that ASV has revised the cable positioning beneath the tilting
and cab on these machines to make it easier for technicians to kind of get in there and fit ratchet or impact tools inside where before they can only get kind of like simple tools in there. All right, guys, that's going to wrap it up for us here today on our review of these all new compact track loaders, the new Max Series CTLs from ASV. And what's really interesting about this product launch is that while a, a lot of CTL launches lately have really been pushing uh, hydraulics and engine power and size and, and trying to make CTLs even more versatile than they already are by giving them bigger attachments and dozer blades and, and, uh, and grading boxes and, and all of this other stuff, you know, it's kind of interesting that ASV went down a more reserved path and said, you know what, we're really confident in the performance that we already have. We feel like the customers love the performance. Where we can improve is inside the cab and with comfort and trying to kind of rethink the whole operator environment that operators are in on a day-to-day -day basis. And that is where we can win people over. It's a really interesting and a really kind of smart take with a CTL lineup refresh, but that's my opinion. Uh, I wanna know what you guys think. Let us know what you think of this new lineup. Let us know what you think of, of all the new features, this, this just massive improvement to the interior of these machines and the structural changes, the wraparound glass, the visibility increases. Let us know what you think of these new ASV CTLs, as well as kind of like some of the more legacy features like PosiTrack. What do you think of the ASV kind of CTL lineup in general, even before uh, these improvements were announced. Let us know what you think in the comments below. We always love hearing from you guys. Oh, and if you like this video and found the information in it useful in your next machine purchase or your next machine rental, please do us a favor and hit the like button below. It really does help our channel out. And if you want more videos on the latest in construction equipment, gear, trucks, and more, subscribe to our channel today. Check out our other videos in the description below and be sure to turn on notifications. Hit the bell down below so you're getting up to the minute alerts whenever we drop a new video. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. We always appreciate your time, and we will see you next time.